Oh, hello. Did you miss me? Probably not. I don't know who would. Who would miss these fucking amateur videos? So let's have a little chat, shall we? We shall. So when I first started making YouTube videos, we're talking about Boxy for like two seconds. I just wanted to make some videos for my friends. All I wanted to do was, uh, you know, film some videos where I amplified my personality by about 20 fucking thousand that would eventually turn into a character by the third video and that's all that's that's all that I wanted honestly that's kind of how I started making videos on this channel I had I left the internet and then realized that uh, you know no matter how long I was gone for it seemed like this whole boxy thing was gonna stick around so I figured like why not you know try to make these videos for these people these few people that care and so that's what I did I didn't know anything about cameras or audio or lighting or, or, or anything like that I barely knew anything about editing like all the time I thank my lucky stars that I was such a motherfucking nerd as a child because I edited anime music videos and that was all of my editing knowledge and that's how I managed to make the videos that I did make with every single video you know not only are you acting and writing and directing but you're also the cinematographer you're also the costume designer you're also um, the editor you're also the, the, the lighting expert see how much I know about lighting I don't even know what to call it uh, you're the you're the audio person you're everything and then not only that, but you also have to be your publicist, your manager. You have to know how to market yourself as a brand. And yeah, I, I know how to do all that. I know what I have to do to succeed on YouTube, and that is to be a one-woman production crew, which is what I was. Now, I can't speak for any other YouTuber except myself. This was my experience of being a YouTuber. There are so many people that are fantastic business people. That is their skill set and they and they have the drive and the desire to learn about all of these different things, but that just wasn't my experience. To be honest, the little that I did was making me miserable. It's hard, you know, you you get creatively burnt out and, and all of a sudden you had all these ideas that were so great and wonderful. You know, I've got this like perfectionist syndrome where like I really want my ideas to be the way that I see them in my head, which I know isn't particularly special, but I really run into trouble where it comes to just like, just do it. Making something is better than making nothing. I'm like, is it though? Is it though? Is it though? I'm like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it is. You have to get out a video every single week. It doesn't matter if you've got other ideas that might take a little bit more time or resources or effort. You have to get out a video every single week. That's what your focus has to be. So no matter how boring you think your video is, no matter how shitty, dumb of an idea you think it is, you have to get out what you can get out. Um, and sometimes you have a lot of fun doing it, but most of the time you just feel disappointed in yourself. And then once you've got all of that footage of your shitty, dumb idea of a video, you have to edit it down. And frame by frame, you have to tear yourself down and criticize yourself. Oh, that's not funny enough. No, you're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. Oh, you look fat in that shot. So you upload it and you work your ass off just to get it out in time. And there are lots and lots of people that really appreciate what you've done but there's also lots and lots of people that are gonna make it their life's work to make sure that you know that they fucking hated it. They hate you, they hate everything about you, and yeah, you know, y you ignore it. You're never gonna make everyone happy no matter how desperately you want to or how hard you try. And that's something that you just kinda have to accept and you do, which could be fine and dandy, uh, except for that there's no money in YouTube, at least for me, and when you're making it your full-time job, yeah, you wanna get paid. I had to support my family with the money that I was making on YouTube. At one point I had doubled my subscribers in viewership and my money stayed the same as it had from when I had first started uploading videos. And could I have tried a little harder? Could I have put more effort into it? At the time, 
No. Could I do it now? Yeah, because I eventually had the absolute blessing of going to work for Discovery Digital Networks where I had a real production team. I learned what it could be like to make YouTube videos uh, with a full team where people know what the fuck they're doing. Where there was a whole team to help you make something. There was a, there was a camera person, a lighting person, an audio person, a producer. Everyone was working together to like pump out this content and even that ended up kind of burning me out just from the sheer volume of things that I had to put out. During my time there I put out over 300 videos with them that I wrote and uh, starred in if you want to call it that. And then once my contract ended with them I had every intention of coming back to this channel to make more YouTube videos but the more I thought about it the more I realized how much money it would cost to invest in a new camera and you know a microphone and and better lights and all of this other stuff that would have been worthwhile purchases if YouTube was what I wanted to do but it's not it never was I first and foremost am an actor I always have been it's what I've always been passionate about and now I'm also passionate about writing. I have so many other things that I want to do you guys and since I left Discovery and didn't come back to YouTube, I got a job as a voice actor on the Disney Channel. I, I have a show coming out. I have a show coming out on June 3rd of 2017 called Billy Dilly Super Duper Subterranean Summer and I'm one of the main characters. I have, a, I have a cartoon coming out where I'm a main character and her name is Marsha and she's adorable. She, she's the greatest and I love her and I love Billy and I love Zeke and I love all of the characters on that goddamn show. I, 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 I really hope that you'll watch it and that you like it. It's, it's available for streaming on Amazon Video and eventually it's going to be available for streaming on Hulu and there will be a link in the doobly-doo uh, for those of you that want to learn how you can watch and support the show legally uh, if, you, uh, if you don't have cable. I would really, 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 really appreciate it if you uh, supported the show and didn't stream it illegally because uh, otherwise then the show won't get the ratings that I think it deserves. <laughs> and in addition to working as a voice actor, I work two other jobs. I don't have time to do this thing that ultimately makes me miserable. I don't want to be perpetually putting myself out there over and over and over again for criticism, positive or otherwise. I don't want to be made to feel bad if I don't tweet for a couple of days. I don't want to be made to feel bad if I don't post a selfie for a long time. I don't want to be made to feel bad if I don't upload a video for a few years. Can you even fathom that somebody once blamed the world's depression on the fact that I haven't uploaded another boxy video? What? Long story short, you guys, I am living my dream. Making YouTube videos and being a YouTuber was only ever a stepping stone for me to get to where I want to be and, and now I'm here and I'm so happy. And you know, all of this isn't to say that I didn't enjoy interacting with you guys and making videos for you. I truly enjoy this part, this part right here where I just get to talk to you guys and be myself and we have, you know, a relationship. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm cut out for this. And I hate to disappoint you guys. I really do. It's it's one of the most difficult things for me. But I have to do what makes me happy because this is my life. I have so many other things that I want to do that I just wouldn't have the time or energy for if I was making YouTube videos. I, I want to write a stand-up special. I, I want to write a show. I, I want to I want to focus on my voice acting career. I, I want to be in more theater. I want to get back into improv. I want to do these things that made me feel alive. And now I get to. I hope you understand. And I hope that you're happy for me. And I hope that you'll watch my show. It's, it's so fun, you guys. It's, it's such a, it, it's such an absolute honor to, to be a part of it. It's so fucking dumb. <laughs>
so funny. It's it, it's like a love letter to to classic cartoons and just silly. And I've really missed just feeling silly. I've really missed doing what I love. I'm so eternally grateful for everything that you guys have given me for all of my supporters and my haters and everyone in between. I I couldn't have done this without you. And so to say thank you uh, one last time, I'm going to be doing a little goodbye video series. I'm going to be making just a few more videos that I've, you know, kind of always wanted to make. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what all of them are because, you know, you know how I love my surprises. But I will tell you guys that one of them is going to be the Silly Face Challenge. Bow, 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 bow. So for 24 hours, which, you know, I don't know exactly when this is going to get uploaded, but, uh, you know, don't worry about it. Editing Katie will figure it out. Editing Katie is on top of things, you guys. For 24 hours, please tweet me all of the faces you'd like me to imitate uh, using the hashtag SillyFaceChallenge. And, uh, yeah, so that's something that you can look forward to. I'm not exactly sure how many videos there will be. I may do more videos in the future if I feel like it. Uh, but that's the, that's the operative phrase there, if I feel like it. I don't know if I will, so feel free to unsubscribe. But please just remember this. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.